so nervous to do this video. I love watching these videos, but I know how I am and I feel like I don't give five stars out a whole lot. So I feel like this video could either end within two books or seven months. Like it's gonna be no in between. Today I thought we would finally do a this video ends when I find a five star read. I've been in a little bit of a reading slump that I've been talking about for months. So at this point it's not a little reading slump. It's just like I do not want to read. But lately it was heightened because I read funny story by Emily Henry. I gave that a five star. And so I've been chasing that sort of feeling that that book gave me and I haven't been able to find it in any of the books that I've been reading. So yeah, I am currently reading books on my Kindle. Amazon was running this deal where you could basically get Kindle Unlimited for free for three months. So for the next three months, I will be specifically reading only books on Kindle Unlimited. And the book that I'm reading right now is Heart Wrench and it is a Hollows Garage book. It's book one of that series. The author is Kate Crew. I am right now only on page 58, but so far I'm really liking the writing. It is about our main character and it's a little bit kind of enemies to lovers, I'm assuming. These two people knew each other in high school. They are out in college. This girl right now, she is struggling. She doesn't have money. She doesn't really have like any opportunities for a job, whatever. Our main male character is a car mechanic and then he also, from my understanding, is kind of like in a car gang. I don't really fully know that plot yet. Right now, I just got to the point where she right now is working in the garage with him, and that's about as far as I am in with that book. Again, I really like the writing, but I don't think this is going to be a five-star read, so I don't know what we're gonna see. Thought it would be fun to start this video and see how long it takes me to find a five-star read. It is right now May 18th. It's a Saturday, and I'm gonna read some tonight. I'm not gonna I'm really tired. We went to Top Golf this morning and then we went to Dave and Buster's with our friends to celebrate my birthday. I turned 23 this past week, which is crazy and terrifying and I I hate acknowledging that time is passing. It freaks me out. I had a lot of fun with them, but I'm so tired. So I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done today. And then I also did forget, but I am listening to an audiobook right now. I've been listening to it while I'm at work. I've been reading honestly a lot less because I've been super busy with work recently, but I've been listening to Local Woman Missing by Mary Kubica. And I'm only on like the first chapter. It has been so long and the audiobook makes me really queasy and sick and it's a very intense story so far so I do not know how that one is going to go but those are the two books that I'm li listening slash reading to right now. I guess let's just get into it. Let's start reading. I'll come back to you with updates on what I think of these two books. I like to be educated but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is One thing I will say about this book that I do not like so far is, like I said, we're only like 50. I'm now on page 62. We're like less than the first 20% of this book and they already are so desperately like... <laughs> what she said. They are so desperate of like wanting to kiss and flirt that there's like no emotional buildup with the characters right now and it's kind of annoying. Yeah, that's my only thoughts I have right now. I still, I do really like the writing so fingers crossed that this is, if not a five star, at least a four star because I've not really been enjoying like any of the books that I've been reading recently. I finished Heart Wrench. Even though the book was really good, it is definitely not a five star read and I ended up rating it three stars. I really enjoyed the writing. It was one of those kind of books that's like a guilty pleasure type of romance. My kind of problem with the book and the romance in the book is it felt very insta lovey but in an instant lust type of way. It didn't feel like there was a lot of emotional connection with the characters. It just straight went into them talking about each other's bodies and I really 
really did not like that. I enjoyed the book. I would recommend it. I'm not going to continue with the series. But last night after I finished that book, I also decided to start another book. So book two of this video is by an author that I've read from their works before and I really enjoyed it. I gave their other book that I've read a five star. So this is Matt Haig and I'm reading the book The Humans. When I was looking through Kindle Unlimited for what my next read was going to be, I kind of wanted a more literary fiction-y type of book but at the same time this book I guess is technically a sci-fi. I don't know if I necessarily believe that. I was looking up what genre this book is and that's what it said but it's not what I would imagine sci-fi is. I've never actually really read sci-fi I don't believe so it could be sci-fi. I'm not really sure. The premise of the story is we are following our main character who is an alien entity. They basically end up becoming a host of a human. You don't know what they are there for but they are put on earth for a specific mission and throughout the story they're kind of learning why are humans the way that they are. The book that I read by Matt Haig before was The Midnight Library and I read that many many years ago and I really loved that book. I definitely see similarities in the writing and the messaging of the stories. I don't think this is going to be a five star. I feel like this could be like a 3.75 or if the ending is really great maybe a four star book but I don't think it's going to be five. Yeah I'm about halfway through that. I think I'm going to continue reading that tonight. I'm nervous with how many books this is going to take for me to get to a five star. It has been a couple days and I don't know if I updated after I finished The Humans, but I did finish that and I started another book. I am right now reading Darling Girls by Sally Hepsworth. It's about these girls who grew up in foster care. Years later, the police end up finding bones underneath the house that they grew up in. Right now, I'm in the beginning of the story where I'm learning each of the characters, who they are now and who they were as a child. And I I'm right now struggling with differentiating any of the characters. They all feel the same to me, but so far I am enjoying the story. I am interested in it to see obviously something that happened and I think the girls know what happened, but they're not letting it on. I don't know how to like fully talk about it without spoiling anything. We are in the search still for a five-star read. I just finished Darling Girls and I started another book. I gave Darling Girls a 1.2 or a 1.5 slash a 2. I never really connected to any of the characters and even though it was a good story, I just like didn't care. So I started a new book and the book that I'm reading is 800 Grapes, a novel. The author is Laura Dave. I don't know a whole lot about what this book is about from my understanding. Standing. I think it's a literary fiction. It could also be a thriller and I just don't know. This was just on like Kindle Unlimited so I just grabbed it. It is about this woman from what I know. She has like a divorce or something and she decides to kind of just like leave her life and go back home to see her family and her family owns this winery and it is harvest season for the grapes. That is all I know about the book. I believe there's some secrets that her family is holding so I think it's a thriller. I'm not really sure but yeah that's the book that I'm reading. I'm gonna go outside and read right now and I will come back when I have some more updates. I don't remember what the last thing that I filmed for this video was. It has been weeks since I filmed for this video and I've read so many books. None have been a five star. I have gotten pretty close. I read a book called 800 Grapes and that one is probably like a 4.5 4.75 but the more I think about the book the fonder my memories are of the book. It was not a five star in the moment and I really want to get just a five star in the moment book. I did start another book last night on my Kindle. I went down a rabbit hole of watching Wallow's edits on TikTok and I forgot about my huge crush that I have on Brayden Lemisters. I wanted to read a rock star romance. I am right now reading a book called Crash and Burn. This is by the author Katie Michelle. I am right now only 40 pages into the book but I'm liking it so far I will say it is that sort of writing of kind of kitschy Wattpad-y there will be lines where he's so attractive oh no why did I say that like girl we know and I don't love that in books but it's kind of exactly what I want 
to read right now. So I have a bit of higher expectations for this book. That's what I'm reading. Today, I'm actually going to try on bridesmaids dresses with my sister and her other bridesmaid. So I'm gonna read while we're in the car. I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done today, but I'm hoping to read quite a bit of this book. I don't know. I'm really hoping this is a five star. We'll see. I have not heard anyone say anything about it, so. Slight switch of plans. I read for like 10 minutes in the car. I did find my dress for my sister's wedding, which is very exciting. Um, but we're going to a Noah Khan concert. I have never seen Noah in concert. I went to Hinterland, but I went to day three and I did not go to the day that he performed. So I am so excited. He's in Minnesota for two nights. He was here last night and we were driving into Minneapolis and we were talking about how we thought traffic was gonna be worse because of the concert and I was like, why don't we buy tickets and go? So we're gonna go to the concert tonight. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see Orange Juice live. That is by far my favorite song. Hi everyone. While I'm filming this video, I'm also filming many different videos. I am reading a completely different book for a different video. That made no sense. I started reading The Handmaid's Tale and I'm not gonna lie, I was reading it at work and this feels like a 4.5, maybe a five star. I don't know if it's gonna be a five star just because the contents of the book are very intense and it almost feels weird for me to give it a five star, but I'm really enjoying the book. I wasn't thinking I was gonna enjoy it as much as I am. So I'm 53% through the book. I'm gonna just read and see how I feel about this. That's my little update on my search for a five star read right now. It's been a, a, almost a month since I started this video and we're nowhere near being any closer to finding it. Okay. <laughs> It feels like every time I read a book, it's going to be like a four or a 4.75, but I've not found a five star yet. I just started The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, and it is a mystery thriller where our main character is a guy who is at this mansion for this dinner party of the parents of Evelyn Hardcastle. She ends up dying, and in this book, this guy is trying to find out who the killer is, and every single day, if he doesn't figure out who the killer is before he goes to bed, I think it is. He wakes up in someone else's body and lives that day through their perspective. I'm right now only on page 34, so like I'm barely in the book at all, but I'm liking it. I don't know. I really have nothing to say about this book so far, so I guess I'll come back when I have anything and any updates. This book is very interesting because it is a thriller slash mystery technically, but almost kind of reads like fantasy magical-esque. I feel like I look insane. I am 56% through The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I think I was talking about this last night before I was going to sleep, but it's interesting because this book almost feels kind of fantasy-like. There's almost like a magical element of this story and the sort of game that is being played in the story, even though Oh, this book is a like mystery type of book. I will say it's kind of confusing. I can't fully explain it because I'll be spoiling it, but it kind of goes in different POVs, different timelines, but also different perspectives. And it's just really hard to keep track of, especially because I go from reading it at home to taking a day and a half off and then reading it at work while I'm like still kind of distracted. And I feel like I have to go back and reread pages. Also, this book is so long. I I am on. I'm on page 289 and I'm only 56% through the book. This is like a 500 page book. I don't think it needs to be that long. I genuinely don't think it needed to be that long. Anyways, I have no plans for the rest of tonight. I want to try and read as much of this book as I can. I'd really like to finish it tomorrow. 
So yeah, that's my plan for the rest of the night. We're just gonna sit and read. So I finished the seven and a half deaths of our Evelyn Hugo. No, Evelyn Hardcastle. Oh my God. Don't say anything about the shirt. I got it for working the show. It's not merch. Don't even start with me. I gave this book two stars. I was more excited about the book than what I felt about the book at the end. The book was way too long. This book is like 530 pages or something along the lines of that. That is way too long for what this book is. It kind of felt like at the end, I also, I read a Goodreads review that said something similar, but it just felt like the author didn't want to let the story go. And the author just kept throwing plot twist after plot twist. And it was also getting to a point where there were so many characters that I felt like I couldn't keep the different characters and the different timelines straight. So I gave it a two star. For some reason, it gave me like similar vibes to Carval. And I really want to reread Carval now, but I'm not going to. We're trying to find a brand new five star. While I was at work, I also started the book Belladonna, which is a YA fantasy. I don't know much more about that. And I'm listening to Gone Girl on audiobook, but I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been live, laugh, loving that book, so yeah. That's like the only updates I have for reading right now. I'm gonna go down to the gym and go run. I don't know, I guess I'll see you when I get back. I don't want to jinx it, but I think I might have found my five star read. I literally had to force myself to stop reading this book at work today. I was 10% into the book when I started reading it and I am right now 80% through the book. I had to physically put my Kindle back in my bag and like put my bag away because I was going to finish this book. I was so giggly. I was just not wanting to stop reading. I didn't feel like I was reading. It felt like I was in the world with the characters. I'm right now, I'm actually 79% through the book. I have have about 50 minutes left of the book and I'm going to sit and read and I'm really hoping this is my five star read. It would really take a twist at the end for this book not to be a five star. I will say this author does do a certain trope that I know a lot of people hate. I hate it as well, but I don't think that trope is going to be in this book. So I'm really hoping that it's not. The third act conflict is about to happen. So I'm interested to see how that happens and how it resolves. Let's read this. I'm so excited. You guys, maybe this isn't a five star. Why is the third act breakup happening? I thought that wasn't gonna happen. I thought all I thought all our third act conflict was done. What do you mean? five star. So the book is officially a five star read, and I just woke. Miss Stella Bella from a nap. I'm so sorry. The book that I was reading was This Summer Will Be Different by Carly Fortune. This book is a perfect summer book. Honestly, I was kind of scared for this book. Um, if you have read Carly Fortune's books in the past, she loves a certain trope that is probably genuinely one of a my least favorite tropes and just in general, like the worst thing that a person could do just in real life. So I was really nervous with going into this book thinking that this book was going to have it. I was kind of going into this book with lower expectations, but it was so good. One thing about Carly Fortune's writing, it, it is so atmospheric and it just immediately transports you into the place and it feels like you're there with the characters. So this book is about our main character Lucy and her best friend Bridget. She has to go to PEI which is Prince Edward Island basically for a vacation because her friend Bridget is about to get married. Bridget and her have this three rule thing and one of the rules is that Lucy is not allowed to fall in 
in love with Bridget's brother, who is Miles. Obviously, it's a romance between Miles and Lucy, and it's just so good. It is past and present timeline, which as I'm reading more and more books, I'm starting to really enjoy that sort of timeline jump. And their relationship was just so cute and so good. And this book really made me want to have lobster rolls and be on a little beach vacation with my friends and family. I don't have good lobster options near me and I also don't have PTO to use. So the book was good enough to fulfill that for me. So good, oh my god. It feels weird to say that I found a five star read finally. I've been filming this video for a little over a month and we finally made it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you've thought of any of the books that I read in this video. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching, bye.